Hey guys, welcome to Vlogmas Day 21. I'm just going to show you guys uh, the pages that I've done. This is uh, for day 16. That's the vellum sheet over the top. And I had put in that Merry Christmas in vellum and I used the altered um, paper clip that I had made to hold it down. And uh, let's see, we're going to open it up. Um, I'm going to show you, I believe I put a... Um, snowflake right on the front of that vellum as well and then when I open it up you're going to see that I documented um, the movie one of the movies that I enjoyed the most so far this season on Hallmark is actually about Christmas and Hanukkah and um, I have been sort of mildly obsessed with Jewish culture since I was in high school I read a novel and the main character was Jewish so I learned a lot about the culture through that novel and also Christianity is based in uh, Jewish culture so um, uh, and in the Jewish religion so uh, yep just enjoyed the movie and they it was well done and it um, also had an adoption story involved and it really they handled it beautifully I added in this um, wooden star and I tried to put in some blue sort of to indicate the Hanukkah, Hanukkah part of it. I know that that is not a Star of David. It was the only star I had, so it was kind of a reference to the star. So uh, that's what I did with that page and I really enjoyed doing it. I enjoyed the movie and I'm glad I put that in the book. So hopefully... Um, it's, you know, and also oh, where I did my journaling in a minute, I will be able to uh, show you guys that I put in a tag uh, to do the journaling. And um, I want you to see there's the tag. And I use some more of that printed uh, vellum over the top of it. I cut that out with a circle punch. And I did all of my journaling on the front and, and on the back. And I just sort of covered it so it's like a hidden journaling. I used a, um, not a grommet, but an eyelet there. And I put some stickers on there. And that is how I handled that page. That was for day 16. Now I'm going to think I'm going to struggle a bit to try and put that paper clip back on. But eventually I'm like, mm, just do it off camera. And I stopped trying. Uh, but I did eventually put that back on later. And uh, I didn't want to drag out the video, so I stopped trying and I moved on to day 17. Day 17 is the day that I chose to document uh, uh, some flowers that I received um, from my sister for my birthday. And I just uh, collaged on a tag. And this tag I had laminated. I made the tag and then I laminated. I put felt on the back, which I didn't show you, but there is felt on the back, some red felt. And um, I added in some words and a butterfly and uh, hearts and all the love and all the feels. <laughs> but yeah, this came from my sister and I was so surprised and so encouraged uh, when I got it and really uh, enjoyed it. And this too, I'm going to give up on trying to get it back in <laughs> so I can move on. Now, this is the uh, tag I worked on earlier in this process and uh, I did that. I used that for my journaling and um i need to read you guys the quotes of the day and i forgot to pull that out so i can read it as i'm about to move on but the quote is be kind be thoughtful be genuine but most of all be thankful so i'm just showing you that now i'm moving into the second signature the second little booklet of the entire book i decided not to put anything on the back cover and nothing on the front cover but what you see and now that this is not on very well, so it's going to pop off. But this is the last day I've documented. This is for day 18. And this was the day of my husband's Zoom holiday party. And it was the same. It was the day for mine as well. So I'm pulling that out to show you where my journaling is at. And uh, I hope I hold this up so you can see it. But he I woke up that morning and I came out to take a shower and this is what he had on and I just cracked up and I'm like you gotta you you're in the book for this you're getting in the book <laughs> he was so funny he, he just goes all in he dresses up for Halloween oops a piece that thing fell off see I gotta fix that I will fix it 
and make sure that it doesn't pop off or I will just remove it. It doesn't really need to be there, but then I'd have to find a place for my journaling. So I'll keep it there. I'll just have to fix it. Anyway, um, yeah, it was just uh, fun to see him all dressed up and he just goes all in. He's an educator. And so ever since we've been married, he always gets dressed up for um, either Halloween. Uh, he participates in all the things at work and, um, and he, you know, dressed up for Halloween with my son as well. But anyway, I'm showing you that I used paper from Lori Gray. That is wrapping paper that I got um, for a gift, my birthday gift from her. And so that made it into the book. So another showing you guys a little bits of you guys is keep showing up through this book. So see how chunky. And so <laughs> I had it propped up on that little that little uh, tray there to so I could hopefully do a little bit of a better job. So uh, that's it for the book. And now I'm going to go on and show you the mini for the day from Chris. All right, guys, here's the mini. This is day 21 from Chris. You guys know we have exchanged this and believe it or not, it's almost over. It's day 21. Christmas is almost here. And look, would you look at that? Would you look at that? This one is 54% wool. And I would assume the rest is acrylic. It's so soft. It's so squishy. And it's very, very much Chris. It's very neutral. And I love it. I'm just excited about putting all of these into a project. So thank you, Chris. That is gorgeous. And Jordan gets a candy cane. And look, I have in the background a beautiful mug rug that was uh, given to me by uh, my lovely crochet sister, Deb. And I wanted to share that with you, I think. Did I share this with you guys already? Okay, I'm sharing it again. There you go. All right, I'll be right back. I got a couple Christmas cards. All right, so today I got a couple of Christmas cards. This one is from Sylvia from Tabitha's Treasures. Would you look at that? It's a beautiful Christmas card that she sent. And it just says, uh, Creating Me a Pure Heart, Psalm 5110. Wishing you the very best of the season from Sylvia. And it's just beautiful. Thank you so much, Sylvia. I really appreciate it. Um, the fact that you just took the time out to send me a card. Thank you so much for that. And then this one is from the wonderful Karen Katsumbaris. And uh, look at how beautiful the card is. It's just lovely. And then inside, let me show you guys. Man, I hope I didn't mess it up. Guys, a lovely note. It says, uh, sending happy, sending holiday greetings of love. Enjoy your way. And she gave me a really nice note. And she included some stencils for my um, upcoming scripture writing, Bible journaling type of thing that I'm going to be doing for 2021. As well as... All of this, guys. Look at all these beautiful things that, that she included. Some stickers, some journaling cards. Uh, just beautiful stuff. Karen, thank you so much for this. I'm so excited to have these pieces. I love it. I'm looking forward to using these in my uh, scripture writing practice for 2021. And actually, I'm going to show you that if you notice, Karen, one of them is missing. It's because I used it already. So let me show you what I did. Hold on. Okay, guys. So here's what I've done. So this is one of the stencils that uh, I received. And I used this section. It says love. And you can see all the glittery stuff that I used for that. Uh... I'm letting it dry back off so I can use it again. But if you can see, I decided to do uh, sort of an, an altered book kind of thing. Um, it's, uh, it's really referred to as a glue book in some ways. But I think because I added some stuff, it might not be considered completely a glue book. However, this is what I've done. I collaged and I tried to get uh, all light colors for this page. 
and I have my scripture. I decided to just start. I was just so excited to get started. And I said, hey, let me get started uh, before January um, while I'm off and I have time. Uh, I'm a little bit concerned about how long, if, <laughs> how I'm going to do this in 2021 when I'm back at work. But for now, I'm going to uh, enjoy it. So I wanted to just keep with the same colors. And so this is all from a magazine. Um, and this is some scrapbook paper that I wrote this on. And then there's a little bit of washi tape right there. But I'm going to, and then a couple of stickers here and there in here. But I tried to stay with the color scheme. So if you could see that. And you can see the loved. I have it in two spots with the glitter that I use the stencil for. And the scripture that I use was Psalm 57. Have mercy on me, my God, have mercy on me. For in you I take refuge. I will take refuge in the shadow of your wings until the disaster has passed. And that's Psalm 57, verse 1. Now, I won't be uh, showing you guys this every day, but I figure since I started, I will show you. And I don't want to close it because I'm not sure if the glitter is dry. <laughs> but this is a journal my husband gave me a year or two ago. A standard grace, a standard of grace guided journal by Emily Lay. And uh, I didn't use it. I didn't end up using it. And when I looked through it, it wasn't dated. So I could have used it for this year. But it's it's in general... I just had a couple problems with it. Um, it's a lot of images in it. Um, and yes, I, I don't know. It's just not my way. And there's just some things that I I wasn't necessarily uh, cool with in this one. It's not anything bad. I just feel like, rep okay, let me just say it. Representation is important. And everybody, every picture in here, none of them include people of color. It's my, maybe one. So that kind of bothered me. So I decided that since I didn't use it then, I'm going to go ahead and use it as my altered glue book. And so this was the first page. All right, I think that's it, and that is going to be all for Vlogmas. I didn't even say this is for Vlogmas Day 21. Uh, again, I want to thank everybody for all the birthday encouragement, and um, thank you for uh, hanging out. And um, I hope to have some very exciting news regarding my YouTube channel really soon. So I'll share that with you as things continue to develop. But anyway, guys, I will see you uh, tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 22. Can you believe it? This Vlogmas is almost over, which means Christmas is almost here. All right. Anyway, thanks, guys, and I will see you in the next video.